Hi, this is Tara Betts, and I'm checking in with what would be my first poetry video today. And basically what I want to do here is share a poem or a book or a poet that is doing work that really excites me or a poem that just gets me ready to write or maybe that I've taught with my students that really means something to me or that I think is something people should know about. So um, one of the poems that I wanted to share with you today is a poem by Crystal Williams. It's in her latest book, Troubled Tongues, which won the 2009 Naomi Long, Long Magic Poetry Award. And I really like this particular poem because it personifies different catchphrases or slang terms that you might hear all the time or things that would become kind of like proverbs. So I taught this particular poem with a group of kids in Philadelphia in Germantown. So Germantown Poetry Fest folks give me big ups. Uh, Yolanda Wisher works with them and she invited me down. Um, so what we did was is we thought about if you took these catchphrases that you know everybody brainstormed a list of catchphrases that we say in everyday life like some of mine were that's what's up he can kick rocks stuff like that and then we gave each of those catchphrases personality characteristics and we had to imagine what they would be like if they walk down the street together on a specific day or if they were on one block in the course of a given amount of time what would happen and the poem that kind of inspired that exercise for me was the wives tales from crystal williams so here's the poem the wives tales chicago illinois all that glitters ain't gold eyes shiny as morning had news from Bo Peep's Bakery, where crazy as a road lizard held up the store at 7.15 a.m., just 15 minutes after it opened, and would have taken away $11.76 had he not been caught by, oh no you didn't, who carted his ragged tail to jail. God is good, who was in her red apron and red dress, which meant she had a new sweetest, and was planning on cooking later in the day, sucked her breath hard enough to make earth shake, got sad and thought, oh my, do I ever wish crazy was something more than a hot crazy mess. You get what you give, twiddled his fingers, snickering till God don't like ugly, harumphed and crossed her chunky arms, at which Get lowered his head and got quickly quiet. Things will get better, broke their silence. I have, things whispered, a question. A question, but oh, oh, what to do? They were ill-equipped and a question could only set them all a titter and askew. What will happen to crazy? What will be done? After a moment's confusion, don't cry, chirped. Well, whatever happens, one can't cry over. And all that chimed, spilled milk, so gleefully that their particular corner of the earth quaked dry its night's dew. Satisfied that the question wouldn't be their demise, around and around they went until, bits of sagaciousness exhausted, they could again stand as they most liked, quiet, unthinking, content. As the day's sun slunk, the tales bid one another adieu leaving everything for a reason, grumbling on his stoop. Everything had for years held vigil over his boy, the boy's mother, uncle, and grandmother, and everything wanted out. He was tired of these people to whom the tales were intolerably adhered. He grimaced at the thought of another day when everything's foolish child with his dumb blank eyes would pull the white cat's tail, stomp a fat dragging roach, lift five coins from his mother's purse, then go cause trouble at Deontay's house. So, 
This is our first poet, our first book, our first poem, The Wives' Tales from Troubled Tongues by Crystal Williams. And this is Tara Betts, and I look forward to seeing you again with more poems and more poets soon. Thanks.